20 ancient life hacks that are useful even today. Times are changing, and we are too. Some things and concerns, however, remain the same for centuries. How to get rid of a splinter. What should you do if you run into a mad dog? It turns out these questions were answered for us a long time ago. A century ago, to be more precise. Where would you expect to find those answers? A textbook? No. Some trivia game? Nope. All that priceless information could be found in packs of cigarettes in the 1910s. Manufacturers began to add hard cards to packs of cigarettes in the 1880s. A few years later, someone got the cool idea to print pictures of famous people, pretty girls, and artwork on those cards. Gallagher Limited of Belfast in London and Ogden went further and released the How To series in the 1910s. Those useful tips were available to anyone who bought a pack of cigarettes. They were ingenious then, and they still are over a hundred years later. Here are the 20 most useful life hacks from the past you're going to love. Are you ready to hear them? Then give us a thumbs up and enjoy the video. Number 20. How to light a match in the wind. If you've ever gone camping or trying to start a fire for a barbecue in windy weather, you know how angry you can get when the match doesn't light. Here's the trick. Try to cut a shape which resembles a Christmas tree on the match. When you light its head, the chips you got will catch on fire. Number 19. How to make a fire extinguisher. If you succeeded with that match and it was a bit too much, you're going to need a fire extinguisher. Good news is, it is easy to make one. All it takes is one pound of salt and half a pound of ammonia. Mix them with two liters of water. Throw this mixture into the fire. There you go, your fire has been extinguished. Number 18. How to fell a tree. You never know what you might need. Imagine someone asks you to fell a tree for them, to make some free space or something. Or maybe you're going to need wood for your fireplace desperately. Make two identical wedges on both sides of the tree. Pull the tree with the rope in the direction where you want it to fall. Number 17. How to light a cigarette with ice. Now that's a surprising one. You would least of all expect to light something with ice, but it is possible. Put some potassium on the tip of the cigarette and touch it with a piece of ice. There you go. This trick could be in a sign show, or just very helpful if you don't have a lighter. Number 16. How to check if your bed linen is damp. We all know our bed linen should be crisply dry. Otherwise, it's not good for your health to sleep on it. To check the danger level, put a little mirror between the sheets. If in a few minutes you can see it steam up, even a little, do not sleep in this bed. Number 15. How to keep eggs fresh. Keep your bed dry and your eggs fresh. You don't need a fridge or a special container for this, according to the cards. To keep the eggs fresh for a long time, dip them in salt and put them in a dry place. Liking the life hack so far? Hit the like button if you want to try any of those or hear more. Coming up next, how to save a person from an electric shock how to draw a perfect circle without a compass, and how to remove a splinter. Number 14. How to water the plants when you are far away from home. You will no longer have to worry about your potted plants when you go on vacation. You can still take care of them by doing the following. Fill a large container with water and put it somewhere above the plants. 
take a woolen rope and put one end into the container and the second one into the pot. Your plants will thank you when you come back home. Number 13. How to make a water filter. How-to cards offer a solution for those cases you want to make the water clean and safe for drinking. You can get the purest water from a zinc bucket with a hole at the bottom for draining. Put fine sand, coarse sand, clean and spent gravel, and stones in layers on the bottom. You will get crystal clear water pouring out of that bucket. Number 12. How to make an ink bottle holder. You might say you don't use ink these days. Believe us, it will work on any liquid you don't want to spill. Cut a snowflake shape in a square sheet of paper. Bend off the petals you get and place the container in there. Number 11, how to save a person who suffered from an electric shock. Take care of your own safety first. Put on dry gloves or take any insulated object, a piece of cloth, clothing, etc. and pull the poor victim by his or her clothes. Congratulations! You are a hero! Number 10. How to move people who cannot swim across the water. Tie one end of a solid rope to a tree. Make one scout swim across the river and attach the other end to the tree on the opposite side. Make a seat or something like that and attach it to a loop that can move freely along the rope. Using a light cable, scouts will safely take everyone who can't swim to the other side of the river. If you don't have any scouts around, you can try it out on regular people. You can't wait to try out all the life hacks? Hold on, more of them are on the way. Number nine, how to blow out a brick. In case you wanna show everyone how strong you are, you can try this one. Take a usual medium-sized plastic bag, put it on the table and put a brick on it. Place the open end of the bag in your mouth and start blowing into it. The result will be mind blow, sorry, Brick blowing. Number eight, how to draw a circle without a compass. Sometimes we all need to draw a circle and we rarely have a pair of compasses on us. There is a solution. Take a piece of wire and twist it around a pencil on one end. Sharpen the other end of the wire to use it as the point leg of a pair of compasses. You can bend the wire and adjust the pencil to get any circle size you want. Number seven, how to draw a pigeon without taking the pencil off the paper. In case you don't have any artistic skills but still want to draw a pigeon, try this method. In fact, you can try it even if you're a great artist to see what it looks like when you follow a pattern. Take a piece of paper and a pencil and never take the pencil off that piece of paper. Keep drawing the infinity symbols as you see in the card. Make it pretty. Keep going. You're done. Your pigeon is a piece of art. Number six, how to hold pets the right way. If you're tired of painting a pigeon, hold it. You don't have a pigeon as a pet? Focus on your kitten or guinea pig. The card suggests to hold them using one hand supporting the chest. 
we made it to our top five. Do you think you know how to stop a mad dog and to remove a splinter? In that case, like the video so we can see how many of you super smart people are out there. Number five, how to stop a mad dog. No one wants to run into a mad dog. Rabies is definitely not what we want to get, right? In case you were unlucky and did run into that monster, you can use a scout's staff, a walking stick, or even a handkerchief or hat to protect yourself, as the card suggests. Put the selected item on one end of the stick and hold it between you and the dog. It will give you some time to protect yourself and disable the dog by kicking it. Number 4. How to make boiled potatoes dry and floury. To cook potatoes like a chef, add a pinch of sugar, not only salt, when boiling. Once they are boiled, pour the water away and put the saucepan back on the stove for a short time. Shake the potatoes to make them equally dry. Yum! Number 3. How to carry a heavy jug. You will never have to cry over spilled milk again if you follow this tip. Hold the jug straight and keep your thumb inside when carrying it. This will prevent the weight from pulling the jug down, the card said. Number 2. How to slice fresh bread. We all love fresh bread. It smells like heaven and tastes like perfection. But it is almost impossible to slice. There is a way out. Put the knife in boiling water for 10 to 15 seconds, then take it out and slowly slice the bread. Number 1. How to remove a splinter. Finally, the answer we've all been waiting for. Say goodbye to annoying splinters. Fill a small bottle with hot water almost to the brim and press it firmly against the arm. The water will slowly cool down and suck up your skin. After a while, you will be able to remove the splinter easily. While these life hacks are incredibly viable, don't forget to use some common sense before trying some of them. Stay smart and be on the bright side of life. If you want us to share more life hacks, give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel not to miss new videos.